Can you become a millionaire on a janitor's salary? Ronald Reed did, amassing $8 million with a low-wage job. Discover the secrets behind his remarkable journey and learn practical lessons on wealth building, from savvy investments to the power of perseverance. So here's the lowdown on Ronald Reed. Picture this, a guy who grew up on a farm so poor, even the chickens had part-time jobs. Ronald's idea of a trust fund was finding a quarter behind the sofa cushions. Now, formal education. That was like a UFO sighting in his town, rare and met with a lot of skepticism. So, what did our man Ronald do? He went from sweeping floors to raking in eight million dollars. I mean, who needs a degree when you've got dollar signs in your eyes, right? Reed's background. Ronald didn't inherit a bag of gold coins or discover a treasure chest buried in his backyard. Nope, he started from the bottom of the economic food chain, armed with a mop and bucket. His resume? Janitor extraordinaire. His salary was more like a whisper in a rock concert. How does a guy with a wallet thinner than a celebrity chef's accent become a millionaire? Well, janitorial juggernaut. While most of us were worrying about paying rent, Ronald was quietly accumulating stacks of cash, not by inventing a hoverboard or winning the lottery, but by understanding the mysterious math of wealth. Income minus expenses equals cash flow. And no, it's not the kind of cash flow you get from sticking a dollar bill in the washing machine. Ronald cracked the code, and suddenly his bank account was doing the cha-cha. Stay tuned, because we're about to unravel the secrets of Ronald's rags-to-riches journey. Trust me, it's more exciting than finding extra fries at the bottom of your takeout bag. Lesson 1. Savings and Age Now, I know what you're thinking. Savings? At my age? Isn't that for wrinkled folks who hoard coupons and yell at kids to get off their lawns? But hold your horses, my friend. Picture this. You, at age 65, living your best life without worrying about working that nine-to-five grind. Sounds like a sweet dream, right? Now, let's sprinkle some reality on it. To make that dream a reality, you've got to start stashing some cash now. Here's the deal. The importance of savings is like putting sunscreen on your financial future. It might not seem urgent when you're young and carefree, but trust me, Future, you will thank, present you for not turning retirement into a will-I-ever-afford-avocados-again dilemma. Now, I won't hit you with fancy jargon or boring charts. Let's keep it real. Imagine your monthly savings as the VIP pass to your future yacht party. The earlier you start, the fancier the yacht. You wouldn't wait till the last minute to snag those VIP tickets, right? Same goes for your savings game. Starting early is like planting money seeds. You water them every month, and before you know it, you've got a money tree that shades you from financial worries. Sure, it won't grow avocados, but it'll give you the freedom to guacamole wherever you please. But saving alone is not going to make you into a millionaire, not without the next thing I'm going to share with you. Lesson 2. Expense control without detailed budgeting. First off, forget about the B word. Seriously, throw it out the window. Ronald Reed, our financial wizard, had a secret, and it wasn't about counting every penny. Instead, he said, adios, budget. But how on earth did he keep his spending in check without drowning in spreadsheets? Picture this, automated savings and spending accounts doing the cha-cha without you lifting a finger. Ronald was all about setting fixed spending goals based on his regular expenses, Think of it as giving your money a choreography lesson. Each dollar had its own dance move, and Ronald was the choreographer. Let's break it down. Bills, groceries, mortgage, these are like the VIPs of your financial dance floor. You assign them a specific move and let them groove with the beat. The leftover money? Well, that's your ticket to splurge without going broke. It's like having a financial party, and you're the DJ. But hold on. This isn't a license to blow your paycheck on a parade of inflatable unicorns. Ronald wasn't about mindless spending. He just knew that by giving every dollar a purpose, he could keep the party going without waking up in a financial hangover. Lesson 3. Wise Investments 
You know how some people believe in day trading, thinking they can outsmart the stock market? Ronald laughed in the face of that idea. He wasn't a financial ninja trying to catch falling knives. He was more of a financial Yoda, patiently waiting for the right moment. Instead of chasing quick wins, Ronald went all in on the slow and steady. Picture this. 95 different stocks, not a frantic day trader in sight. It's like having 95 horses in a financial race. Not all will win, but you've got a better chance than putting all your money on one wild stallion. And get this, Ronald didn't just throw darts at a stock chart hoping for the best. No, no, no. He was like a stock detective. Sherlock Holmes of Wall Street, if you will. He dug into a company's fundamentals, peeked into its financial diary, and made sure it was worth his hard-earned bucks. Now, here's the kicker. Ronald wasn't into the get-rich-quick schemes. Nope, he preferred the slow burn of long-term investments. It's like planting seeds and watching them grow into money trees. Compounding interest, my friends. Ronald knew how to ride that wave turning a small stream of cash into a financial tsunami. So, lesson learned. Be the tortoise, not the hare, in the financial race. Wise investments aren't about chasing the market. They're about letting it come to you. Ronald Reed wasn't a Wall Street wizard. He was a patient puppet master pulling the strings of his financial destiny. Lesson four. The power of compound interest. Let me break it down without diving into the numbers jungle. Compound interest is like a turbo boost for your money. It's not just earning interest on your initial stash, but on the interest that has already piled up. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, getting bigger and faster with every turn. Ronald wasn't a financial genius. He was just a guy who understood that time was his best friend. He started investing early, and that's where the compound interest magic kicked in. Instead of spending his entire paycheck on shiny toys and instant gratification, he tucked a portion away for the future. The small gains from his investments weren't just sitting there. They were working, multiplying, and growing. It's a bit like planting a money tree. You water it with your savings, and over time, those dollars grow into a financial forest. Ronald didn't have to be glued to a computer screen or make risky bets. He just let time and compound interest do the heavy lifting. Think about it. Wouldn't you rather have your money work for you? Making little money babies that grow up to make more money babies? That's the power of compound interest, my friends. And it's the closest thing to a financial superpower you can get. Lesson 5. Continuous learning. So here's the deal. Ronald was committed to lifelong learning, not in a boring lecture hall, but in the real world. He hit up the local library like it was a treasure trove, and for him, it was, devoured every page of the Wall Street Journal and had chats with neighbors who knew their stuff. But get this, Ronald wasn't blowing stacks on courses or fancy seminars. Nope, he was rocking the free resources. Libraries are like gold mines, and knowledge doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. You too can be a financial ninja on a budget. So, what's the big takeaway? Continuous learning isn't just for the geeks in the front row. It's for the janitors, the baristas, the folks who hustle hard for every dime. Ronald knew that the more he knew, the more he could grow his dough. It's like compound interest for your brain. And hey, you've got YouTube, blogs, and podcasts, all free. You can turn your daily commute into a crash course on making bank. Ronald's saying, don't stop learning, because that's how you keep the money train rolling. So grab that spare change, let it grow, and watch your financial garden flourish. So, is that all? Will this make you a millionaire? Well, watch this video and find out. And as always, thanks for watching.